y'all welcome back to my channel okay i'm gonna try to get through this video without the annoying fireworks that are happening outside i don't know why i decided to film on fourth of july at nighttime. that just don't add up right like yeah it doesn't add up but honestly i don't really care forget fourth of july honestly like i'm just I'm so over 4th of July. Like, I honestly, I don't want to see fireworks. I don't want no barbecue. I don't want nothing to do with today. Today is just totally scratched out of my book. I am going to be doing a super glam date night look. I want it to be like next level glam, cut crease, glitter, all of that good stuff. And yeah, I'm just like ready to beat this face. I curled my hair, so I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So to start off, we're gonna go in with our Murad Perfecting Day Moisturizer. Like seriously, this just gives my skin the ultimate glow, like the ultimate glow. Look at that, look at that. I just can't even deal with the fact that, you know, everything that happened with George Floyd not that long ago, and then people are celebrating July 4th like we were really freed as slaves on this day like it just doesn't make sense to me I'm actually more in my feelings today than I have been this last week because it's just like we as people move on so fast but we really don't learn how to forgive and heal we're more of like a forget and move on culture and it's just that's how things just build up and like animosity just you know just builds up and it's just not like cool man it's not cool and i'm just not in the mood to even look outside today <laughs> honestly it's really sad just thinking about how you know we as a country are celebrating this independence day when there are people still locked up in cages and kids are just it's a lot you guys it's a lot it's a lot but we're gonna keep on moving on and we're gonna keep on praying because that's really all we can do. So right now I'm just canceling out my dark circles under the eye. I'm also gonna get that hyperpigmentation around the mouth right here on my problem areas on the cheek. All right, now I'm just going in with a flat brush and I'm blending that concealer in. After we blend that in, we're gonna go in with some setting powder. I'm gonna go with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to set that concealer. I'm just gonna go in with a flat kabuki brush to buff that powder in so that it's not just sitting on top of the concealer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera um, and then I'll be right back. Brows are done, we're gonna move on to highlighting. I'm gonna go in with my Crayon Case highlighter in the number five. And this highlighter is very tricky, so you might wanna squeeze it out on the back of your hand first before applying it right to your face. Then you can go in and apply it with a brush. And make sure you blend it on top of the eye. Okay, now going in with foundation, I'm going with my favorite matte foundation, which is the Collab Meet Your Matte Foundation in the shade Cinnamon. And I'm taking this foundation around the edges of where we just highlighted. I love doing my layering like this because I just did one layer and everything just looks really full coverage. Like I've done multiple layers, but I've only did one. And I also haven't even put on any powders yet and my skin is looking so flawless and powdered already. All right, because I want it a little brighter under the eye, I'm gonna go in with my Lancome concealer in the shade Ivory. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of this right under the eye. And I'm just gonna blend that in. And I'm taking it along the side of the nose so that that full area is highlighted. It just looks a lot better in pictures where it's not like, just like right, right under the eye. You want that whole area to be highlighted. Then I take any access on the chin and around the mouth. We're gonna go ahead and set that before it starts to crease. I'm gonna use that same Sasha Buttercup powder. And go with your second layer to bake. Okay, to set the rest of the face, I'm gonna go with my Bare Minerals Matte Powder in Golden Nude. 
I really love setting my face with this powder. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Hey Girl Hey palette to bronze the face up with today. I really love this palette for contouring and bronzing because it has so many nudes in it. And it's just, you can really deepen your contour up with this palette. So I'm just gonna play with a couple of these shades in this palette to start bronzing. It sounds like a war zone outside. <laughs> <laughs> that was so scary. Okay, so I'm gonna contour the nose also with this palette. And while I'm contouring, I'm dragging that shade up into the orbital bone and I'm dragging it down on the sides of the nose. And then I'm gonna go with a nice fluffy brush and really blend out that crease area. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the face. We're gonna go ahead and move on to eyes and then we'll come back to the face to finish up our highlight. So I'm gonna go in with my Such A Gem Morphe palette for today's eyeshadow. Love, love, love this palette. It has silk eyeshadows, matte shadows, and then it has like loose glitter shadows, which are like everything. So I'm going to start building up my transition colors. I really want this look to be like a pink and purple kind of vibe with a little bit of black in it. First, I'm gonna go with this matte purple. It's the darkest purple in the palette. And I'm going to start concentrating this right in the crease. And you really want to pack on that shadow to get all of the pigment that you want. And I'm keeping this in a round shape because I want the shape of this to be like round. So I'm packing it on in a dome. And I'm also looking down into a mirror to make sure I get into my crease really well. Okay, to blend out the edges of that purple, I'm gonna go in with the bright pink shade from this palette. And I'm just going to blend right on the edge of the purple. So you can see the gradients of it. Now before we go in and cut the crease, I'm gonna go in with that black shimmer shade in this palette, which is so freaking gorgeous. And I'm going to deepen up just the outer corner of this look. Take it on the crease and then I'm going to drag it down towards the lash line in like a V shape. But I'm still keeping it in a dome shape. And that's why it's really good that I still have my bake on because the fallout is just falling right on top of the bake and it'll brush right away. To cut the crease, I'm going with my P. Louise base in the number two. And I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And I kind of want this cut crease to just fade into the black. So I'm not taking it all the way to the other end. I just kind of stopped it about a finger width before the edge of the eye. And I'm also avoiding the lash line because I'm putting liner on. I just feel like the less product, then the more pigment I'll have. So I'm just keeping the lash line bare so that the, sh the eyeliner can be a lot more pigmented. Okay, so you wanna let that base sit for a minute and let it dry down. You don't want it to be too wet because it will pick up the product. So I'm just gonna go back in and blend a little bit more of that black shadow in. I'm gonna go in with these two like periwinkle shades. I'm gonna do that one and I'm going to do that one. And these are both silk shadows. All of the big shadows in this palette are silk shadows and they're so beautiful. They cling on to the P. Louise base really nice as well. Okay, now I'm just blending out the outer edge of that cut crease so that it just all melts together and it just falls in. Ooh, this is so cute, yes. I'm going to go in with a glitter. I'm using the Love Glitter Liquid Liner. I'm not sure who this is by, but I got this at my dollar store. And I'm just gonna go and top off the top of the cut crease with this. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner and do a nice, thick cat eye. Okay, and before we do the bottom eye, we're gonna go ahead and brush that bake away that's right under the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna do my inner uh, waterline with the Beauty Control Lip Pencil and Mauve, but I actually like to use these as eyeliners as well. And I'm going to lightly press this into the bottom lash line. 
And then I'm going to blend that out with a matte pink shadow. For lashes, of course, I'm going to go in with my shady lashes. I have like this tray full of them. So I'm just going to pop on my favorite pair and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and finish the lips with another Beauty Control Lip Pencil in the shade Raisin. Okay, so mm, I'm gonna go ahead and put this liquid lipstick on by Kat Von D in the shade Melaconola. Me Melancholia. Melancholia. Okay, this is really hard to pronounce. Melancholia. That's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> and if it's too bright, I'll change it. Okay, I think it's subtle, not too bright, and I think it goes really good with this eye. I just think the hair color might be throwing it off a little bit, but um, for the most part, it's okay. I'm actually gonna tone it down just a little bit with the, the NYX Lip Trio Plush Lipstick, and this is the shade Breakup. Apply just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my beige cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray palette, and I'm going to apply French toast. Ooh, this is so pretty. Pop a little on the nose. And then to really make it pop, I'm just going in with the radiant. I'm gonna finish my face off with some rose water. Okay, so let me go do my hair and put my earrings on, and I'll be right back with the finished look. Alrighty y'all, this is the finished look. Yes, I'm in love. I know I say that every time, but all of my looks just come out so much better when my hair is done. Like, thank you guys so much for coming to watch. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you like this look, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and click that bell for notifications on when I upload. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Peace.